Hey learners, it's Johnny from over here at Nurse Hub, and welcome to your question of the day for the English language usage section of your T7 exam. Today's question is going to focus on the writing process, specifically working with citations. For more questions just like this one and for our practice tests and lessons and a full diagnostic, head on over to nursehub.com and sign up today to become a premium member. With that, let's get started. Which of the following sentences requires a citation? Is it A, Americans are sometimes working three jobs to help navigate monthly expenses? B, some Americans are calling for higher wages to help with monthly expenses? C, according to a nationwide study, 68% of Americans are struggle to pay monthly expenses? Or D, many American families struggle with, with monthly expenses? So we read the question together and I want you to click pause in the video. And I want you to try to answer this question on your own, but don't worry. I'm gonna be here to help support you with correct answers, strategies, and a full explanation afterwards. So go ahead, pause the video now. Good luck and have confidence. You got this one. Are oh, you thinking you're ready to move on? All right, let's break down this question together bit by bit. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take those answer options away and we're gonna focus on the question itself. And the first thing we're gonna ask is, what is the question asking us to do? What skills are being assessed here? Now here we're looking at first sentences, which are our four answer options. And we're specifically looking for a sentence that requires a citation. Now with that, I might not know what the citation means. You might not know, so let's define these terms together. A citation is simply just informing your reader that, in, that information within that sentence or within that passage came from another source or from research. So it's giving credit where credit is due. And common knowledge is something known by most people without the need for research. Now this will all make sense in a second. So let's bring the question, the answer options back in, and let's look at our steps for success for today. The first is look at each sentence for common knowledge or, or the need for citations. And then simply just identify our best case sentence. We only need one answer for this one. So let's go ahead and find our answer. Before we do that, let's have a little mini lesson on our citation rules. Now, when writing, giving credit to outside sources, if you use them, is crucial. First, it places our writing within the broader academic community. So it places within our nursing community or a science community, or for me as a journalism and English student community. And the second, and this can be really important for you as a student and as a professional, it helps avoid plagiarism, which is taking credit for another's work and can carry some really stiff penalties. Now, there are citation rules based on your content based on what content you're studying. And it's little formatting bits, but that's not a focus of the question, so we won't focus on it here. So when's a citation needed? A citation is needed whenever the writer, that could be you, that could be another writer somewhere you're editing, is referencing materials that are not common knowledge. Now, common knowledge was in our, was in our past, but that's research, studies, quotes, and facts. Nothing that's in the common vernacular, the things that just we know. Now, our our research could be direct or paraphrased. So even if you're rewording a source, you still wanna put that citation in there. So now we need to find out which of these sentences requires a citation that is something research or something that isn't common knowledge. So we have all four answer options back in here. We're gonna use a proselination. It's my favorite technique. Simply just when you cross off answer options that you know are not correct, give you the best possible chance of getting the correct answer. So let's start with answer option A. Americans are sometimes working three jobs to help navigate monthly expenses. Well, the three jobs seems really specific. Like, why not two or four? I'm not sure on that one. Let's keep that one there and let's hold off for now. We don't need to cross it off, remember. B, some Americans are calling for higher wages to help with monthly expenses. If that had a quote, I could see it, but it doesn't have a quote there. It doesn't say which American or a name. So let's cross that one off. C, according to a nationwide study, 68% of Americans struggle to pay monthly expenses. Well, it's a nationwide study, and it has a very specific number, 68%. It doesn't even say like, they don't even round up or, or round down, mind you. So let's keep that one there as well. So far, we have A and C. Finally, D, many American families struggle with monthly expenses. Well, that's not specific enough at all. So we can cross that one off too. Now we have A and C here. We have, we have a 50-50 shot of getting this answer right. So which one requires a citation more? For me, that nationwide study 
and that 68% of Americans says it all. So we're gonna cross off A, C is our correct answer. He says there's two pieces, nationwide study, a direct percentage point. Yeah, that's our right answer. That one requires a citation. Where did that study come from? So let's look at our answer explanations. A, this is the one we were, this one we were kind of stuck on. Americans are sometimes working three jobs to help navigate monthly expenses. This sentence, all it does, it lacks some specific specificity, uh, a name of that person, some more information to require a citation. Some, B, some Americans are calling for higher wages to help with monthly expenses. If this was from like an organization that said this, or as an official statement, like that they're calling on Congress, it's this individual, um, this individual group, this will require a citation, but without it, it's just sort of a statement. And finally, D, because we're just going over the, the incorrect answers here. Many American families struggle with monthly expenses. And this statement is just really generalized, right? It's just, it's just saying many American families struggle and it has no research, no backing to it. So no citations required. Now that brings us to C, our correct answer, right? According to a nationwide study, 68% of Americans struggle to pay monthly expenses. Now this reference is a study, that nationwide study, and a specific percentage number in the sentence. So this one's gonna require a citation to give, to give credit to some prior work and especially to avoid plagiarism, to make sure whoever gave that study, whoever did all that work, gives the credit that they deserve. So that's our correct answer. Now, I hope you found that helpful. And if you did, and if you want more of this content, become a premium member today and you'll gain access to over 8,000 different practice questions in all tested subject areas, including brand new courses to help with the T's exam, including that T7, our amazing HESI content, and a series we just launched to help you navigate nursing school once you get there. So let's work together to get you ready to pass your entrance exam and also succeed and crush it in nursing school. My name is Johnny from Nurse Hub, and I hope to see you soon. Never stop learning.